I don't want to be on. No. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. So, it's a Saturday. I'm actually off this weekend. In fact, I'm off for the whole week. But, just here on a little personal mission. So, you've probably seen Penny the Labrador. You've seen Penny the Labrador on, oh, in a few snippets from my previous vlogs. She's my girlfriend's dog. And a few weeks ago, we took her on a very special date to meet a boyfriend. And it all went well. So now is the time that we'll scan her to find out if she's pregnant. So this is the moment of truth. It's a bit like results day. It's all a bit nail biting. So we'll set up and we will find out if she is up the duff. There's a puppy. Ooh. Penny. Stand still, good girl. There's another. Penny, shush. Penny, stop. Somebody's outside. There's another. result we'll pick it back up she's due in about another month so my idea with this is is to sort of make a whole vlog from scanning to when the puppies go off and we can sort of make it into a bit of a story we'll see how that turns out fingers crossed everything's happy and healthy by the end of it that's the most important thing welcome back it's June We've got a weekend off it's lovely and warm, and we're just catching up with a few jobs. Now, hopefully, as I'm putting this together, you would have already seen that we've scanned Penny in pup, and here she is. So, I hope that it's obvious she's fairly heavy she's definitely ballooned in the last couple of weeks and she's only about a week away from her due date which means in reality she could go at any time so we're just moving her to a secret location into the lovely horse box which again you've seen it used for lambs this will be used for puppies still a far more sensible use than those horses Anyway, it's been cleaned out since the lambs have been in here. It's been disinfected and I've put some lime down for good measure. So this is where we are at the minute. We're just letting it dry out and uh, we'll try and show you how we're putting this whirlpool box together.
Okay, that's us more or less done. So as you can see again, lovely horse box repurposed. We've got the bed mat shavings down. Whelping box was just a cardboard box uh, with a nice bed on top. Plenty of absorbency and comfort is the idea. And then got a water bowl, a few bits of paper for her to shred, which they often do in the run up to whelping. Then we've got a little patio table here with most of the things we should need. Just some um, more newspaper, some kitchen roll, bin bags, collars, uh, a set of sterile gloves and more towels and all those sorts of sensible things. We've even got a door that you can peep your way in. <laughs> As I say, the proof will be in the pudding and uh, we'll see what the dog thinks about it, but I'm not sure where she's gone. Come on, Penny. Pen. Come on. Penny, what do you think of it? Penny, what do you think of it? Come on, come on. Come on, in your bed, in your bed. Oh, look at that, Pen. Oh. Lovely. Hector's not, Hector the Whippet isn't having a litter, <laughs> believe it or not. Anyway, you'll join us when things started to get a bit more interesting. Uh, that could be any day now. She's due, it's, it's due, yeah, she's due on Friday. So today is Saturday. She's due next Friday, but who knows when they'll arrive because just like human women, they can be a few days or even weeks either side. So when you join us, it should be a bit more exciting. Until then, over and out. So it's a couple of days after we've put that trailer together for whelping. Hattie brought Penny round here about half an hour ago. Yeah. And within about 10 minutes of her arriving, she had a puppy. And like any good new age male, I've missed the first one. But thankfully, with dogs, there's several bites at the cherry. So I'm just going to show you the first one. Hello, Penny Pen. You need to do it the right That's way there. Latched on there. There we go. Oh, Pen. Oh, Penny. Good girl. First one's out, latched on. So I'm very happy with that. I think we're probably going to decamp a bit and leave her to it. So oh, I'm just going to sit down. I'll catch up with you later. Split so far, dogs and bitches. <laughs> right, so we've got uh, three bitches and two dogs so far. There we go. Yeah. Nice split. One will need a bit of help, but hopefully that's it away. And it looks like there's more to come, so we'll see how many we end up. about six in the morning, the morning after I spoke to you last, and it's been a productive night. So, Penny, the mum, has gotten on very well. Eight puppies, all born pretty much without assistance. There's one we helped with, which we probably would have pushed out perfectly fine herself. Puppies all got on, fed really quickly. We're all really happy with them. There's five girls and three boys, but so far they all look very healthy. We're not getting too carried away yet because there's always, with puppies as with any young animal, a vulnerable period, probably the first couple of weeks. So. 
as long as we can get them through those first weeks, or once we get them through those first weeks, we can maybe start to relax a bit. But at the moment, the focus is just on getting those puppies and mum through the sort of vulnerable period. But for that reason, that's why I'm speaking quite softly. We'll leave her be. She's got a heat lamp, as you can see. The puppies have all got full bellies. Could be worse. <laughs>